In the previous video, we looked at Astro Pixel Processor's capabilities for creating RGB and LRGB images. The principle when working with narrowband data is fairly similar and we can use APP's Tools menu to create a color narrowband image. It's worth emphasizing at this point that narrowband images are indeed false color images. This results from the fact that narrowband filters have exceedingly small bandwidths and in the case of the data that we'll be working with, the bandwidth was just 3 nanometers. Professional scientists use the popular Hubble palette to create color images and we'll do the same thing here. Unlike LRGB and RGB images, where we must strive for an accurate color balance, we can be a little bit more creative to show deep sky targets at their best. We can start off by going straight into the Tools menu. As before, we'll click on the Combine RGB button to open the Color Combination menu. The data set I'll use was taken with the Spain 1 telescope and our target is the Heart and Soul Nebula in Cassiopeia. When prompted, name the Deep Sky target and click OK. Click on the Add Channel button to open the three narrowband master images. These were taken using Hydrogen Alpha, Oxygen 3 and Sulfur 2 filters. When the directory opens, we can select all three images and click on the Open button. This opens the Filter Assignment menu and from here we can choose a narrowband composite formula. Note that with the Hydrogen Alpha master frame, the field named Shot with Filter is showing custom. I'm not sure why, but we need to correct this by choosing Hydrogen Alpha from the drop list. Without this correction, the color balance will be skewed. Continuing, clicking on OK assigns the Hydrogen Alpha frame, then both the Oxygen 3 and Sulfur 2 frames. Let's begin by using the SHO Hubble 1 option. I recommend having the Saturate button turned on on the right hand side. Next, we click on the Calculate button to create the colour image. OK, this gives the typical Hydrogen Alpha Heavy view because using the SHO formula loads the much stronger Hydrogen Alpha data into the green channel. We have other options available, so let's try the SHO Hubble 2 alternative. To apply this update, click on the New Formula button to change the channel scaling. You may notice that the sliders for the three channels below change slightly. This is a step in the right direction. APP has done a good job. Zooming in, we can see that there are no gaudy star halos, but the image is still looking a little bit on the green side. Let's try the Hubble 3 option. Remember to click the New Formula button again. Right, this is looking much better and closer to the classic Hubble palette view. I'd be happy to go with this, but let's try out the final SHO option. Select Hubble 4 from the drop list, apply the new formula button and then calculate. This has certainly brought out the fainter nebulosity but has over brightened the core of the heart nebula and introduced minor halos around the stars. I'll try backing off on the strength of the scaling. Yes, that's definitely an improvement. Remember that further colour alterations can be made by moving the top sliders of the channel options below. I'll try raising the Oxygen 3 and Sulphur 2 sliders. This has certainly changed the view, enhancing the Oxygen 3 data in both nebulae. If there are any moonlight or light pollution gradients visible, they can be reduced by going back into the Tools menu and choosing the Remove Light Pollution tool. 
Click OK and then draw multiple selection boxes on the image and then press the Calculate button. The background is much more neutral now. Clicking on the left hand save button saves the images as unscaled FITS files. Alternatively clicking on the right hand save button allows the image to be saved as a scaled 16-bit TIFF file for use in other graphics programs if required.